Hey friends, it's Joanne. So today I'm going to show you how easy it is to alter a sweater. I recently went thrifting and found this great camel color sweater with texture that's amazing, but it's a little bit too big. I think it's a men's large. So what I'm going to do is shorten up the sleeves, shorten up the body to really fit my body type. So stay tuned and I'll show you how. First, you want to try on your sweater. You want to make sure you are cutting the right amount and that it looks good on your body. Pin up the amount you want to trim off. I use safety pins here so they don't fly off or stab me when I take off the sweater. Now it's time for the cut. Take note of the measurement you want to cut. I'm taking off six inches off the body and four inches off the sleeve length. Remove safety pins and lay flat as possible and line up the edge to be straight. I suggest using a rotary mat to use the grid as an easy way to line up the bottom. I pin the ribbing at the bottom together so it doesn't move as I cut. Cut off the ribbing leaving about half inch seam allowance and set aside. Then you want to take the measurement you want to take up on the body and cut this off. Do the same to the sleeve. This time I made a small snip and cut the ribbing off with scissors leaving half inch seam allowance. Lastly, take the measurement you want to take off the sleeve and cut. Now you have all your pieces ready to sew. So at this point, you'll either overlock your pieces together or use the zigzag stitch on your sewing machine to finish the edges. Find your zigzag stitch on your machine and mess with the setting so you get a shallow zigzag that looks kind of like this. Then take your ribbing and carefully pin together evenly on sleeve opening so the ribbing is on the inside and the fullness is on the outside. This will make it easier to feed the fullness when sewing and stretching the ribbing to fit. Remove pins as you sew around and finish by overlapping the previous stitch for about an inch. Repeat this process to the other sleeve and bottom hem. This is the bottom hem all together ready for the next step. Now I switch up my zigzag to finish the edges with a more taller and tighter zigzag so the sweater can't unravel. It will look more like the zigzag on the right. To finish the edges, I sew as close as possible to the previous stitch so I'm left with enough seam allowance to trim off. Do this to all the seams and trim very carefully off the excess seam allowance. I'm trimming very close to the zigzag but not through it. Take your time with this so you don't accidentally cut through any stitches. This leaves you with a nice clean finish, just like if you used an overlock machine. Thanks so much for watching this video. I had a great time showing you this quick and easy tutorial on how to alter a sweater. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll be putting out more tutorials and sewing related videos out there. And if you're not already following me on my socials, I put out fashion and sewing content out there as well. So till next time.